Bluegrass Consulting helps people get back on their feet. Here to tell us all about it, we have Sam Stout and Heather Stewart. Great to see you all today. Thank you so much for having yes. us, Susan. Well, I know you've got a bunch of locations, so we want to hear all about it. So talk about this group, this organization. Yeah, our organization is comprised of 10 post-acute rehabilitation mm -hmm. and long-term care centers across Kentucky. But we're here today to tell you a little more about six of those specifically mm -hmm. that serve Eastern Kentucky communities. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, go ahead and let's find out more about it. Because when you say short-term mm -hmm. rehabilitation, do you mean physical therapy? Mm -hmm. Yes, we actually, um, the short-term, mm -hmm. we have physical therapy, occupational therapy and speech therapy mm -hmm. they get that five to seven days a week also with nursing care around the clock that is great okay and are these services just for seniors or can younger people you would think age? that but actually the average age of someone residing with us is about 80 years of age mm -hmm. and so you could see why um, maybe viewers think that this is a service for senior citizens right. but mm -hmm. Susan um, we are seeing more and more people need short-term rehab are in younger generations people in their 50s and then in their 60s and actually the National um, mm -hmm. Center for Health Statistics cited just a couple years ago that approximately 17% of those residing in a nursing home mm -hmm. are under the age of 65. And really? I think that really speaks to the prevalency um, and the new trend that we're seeing younger people in mm -hmm. our care centers just there for short-term therapy, um, as Heather mentioned. Yeah, I think a lot of people may not even realize that's mm -hmm. something it's they can option. take advantage of, an right. option for them. Yeah, um, so if anyone watching at home, maybe they know someone who could really benefit, especially now that they know it's for younger mm -hmm. people Absolutely. as well, what do they do? Do they just call? Do they stop by? How does this work? I recommend touring whenever uh -huh. possible. Um, this is a huge decision. Yes. Uh -huh. um, it is your health. It affects um, the trajectory of whether someone can return home after an illness or an acute injury mm -hmm. and with that being a big decision I think that it's so important to establish that connection and that sense of trust with your post-acute provider mm -hmm. and there's no better way to be assured that you're making the right decision than to meet with those people one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. Definitely there. And if you can't make it into the facility uh -huh. to tour it, you can visit our Facebook page, our website, um, call the building. You, we're, we have right. someone there, you know, available um, 24 hours that answers the phone and they can get that to our admissions, social work department and, and we'll call them back. Definitely there. How long have you all been around? This is really uh, interesting that you've got that many locations. Has it been yeah. a couple years or has it been decades? A lot of our locations have been well established in their community for years going on to mm -hmm. a decade. Um, our management team has only been overseeing these locations for the last four to five years mm -hmm. and we have made such a tremendous impact. The capital investment, the investment mm -hmm. in our care team members um, has been tremendous. So I think for viewers in the audience who are familiar with the location mm -hmm. might not be familiar with the changes that have occurred in them. And so I, I definitely recommend those who might need this level of care to stop in and tour and see us. Mm -hmm. um, this is a vulnerable time in people's lives and we want to make sure that it, they are met with compassion and the most current information to make informed decisions. Oh, definitely. And it's interesting that you brought up at the beginning of our, our talk here that younger and younger people mm -hmm. are coming in and needing, you know, like you said, short-term mm -hmm. rehabilitation. Is it typically from an injury, an accident, that type of a thing? Mm -hmm. It can be an accident, an acute illness that they come in for. Mm -hmm. And really all of us are, I mean, a phone call away from being in the other shoes of that. Right. Um, this isn't something that people seek out proactively all of the time, but I think that um, every day we see people in, in the circumstance and we're in a position to help them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so remind everyone if they want to come in, take a tour, mm -hmm. or they just want to talk to someone mm -hmm. and find out if this might be the right direction for them, what's, what do they need to do first? What's the best way to get things going? A, placing a phone call to any okay. one of these locations and then as I mentioned touring if you're available to do that or checking out our Facebook page where you can really get a good pulse um, on the activity and the events going on at those locations. Well great. Uh, well Sam and Heather thanks so much for stopping by and sharing what you all are doing again to get people back on their feet, get yes. them moving again and uh, with all those locations it's bound to be near mm -hmm. some of the people who are needing this help. Yes. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you right. very much. Great talking with you.